Yeah, do that, do that funky dance, Cletus. Do that funky dance, Cletus. Oh my god. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to Tutorial Tuesdays. And um, yeah, I got an awesome tutorial for you guys today. Um, and some cool information, actually. I just moved into this new house on this abandoned island. Yep, uh, all by myself. Uh, it's really awesome. I got nice space. However, we do have an issue. I don't have anybody here. It's lonely. Um, so I created a friend. There's my friend right over there. You see him? Yeah, his name is Cletus. And Cletus and I work in the lab together. We're actually trying to make somebody else right now. It looks like he's hard at work uh, looking at him, trying to figure something out. But as you guys can see, when I made Cletus, he was naked. And uh, now he has clothes on. So while Cletus attacks me, I am going to show you guys how, how to put clothes on your pet zombie Cletus. Or how to put clothes on any zombie. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. And uh, if you do, hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, ask for more tutorials in below. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to keep running from Cletus. I'm going to hide in this closet. Uh, hopefully Cletus can't get me. Enjoy the tutorial guys. And uh, I'll see you in the editor. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and assume that you don't know anything about zombies. Um, and how to how to add zombies into the game. Uh, so we're gonna start from the very beginning and if you kind of know it you can skip along to the part that really matters. Uh, but um, here is what you do. The first thing you want to do is bake the land. Create a path for them to uh, create a path for them to walk on. And to do that um, you want to make sure you click on environment, navigation, and then you should get this little red flag. So go ahead and put the red flag down and as you can see we have our boxes here. Um, basically this is gonna be kind of where the zombies can walk spawn and um, up until the very oops up until the very last point that they can walk um, so as you guys may notice if a zombie just will stop immediately it's because they've run out of their room to walk um, they're, they're out of navigation space basically um, so yeah once you do that of course you can adjust the the size and the height of these puppies by doing that I uh, will click back on that flag so as you guys can see if I move this um, it's going to make it bigger and smaller, which I don't want. I'm going to keep it the smallest. Keep in mind, the higher up you go, the more, um, I guess, the, the harder it is on your computer. You better have a good computer if you're trying to run a lot of this. So, for purposes of the tutorial, I'm just going to click Bake Navigation. And as you see, real quick, it gave me just a real quick uh, spot. Uh, of course, that's because it is a very small cube. Um, so, the zombies can walk anywhere on this yellow. They can also spawn anywhere on the yellow. If it's not yellow, uh, they can't spawn or walk on it. Well, give or take. Generally, they'll stop. They might be able to chase you a little bit out, but um, they're not going to be prone to unless you, like, punch them or something. Um, with that being said, let's get into the spawning part now. So, click on Spawns and then Zombies. Notice how I have nothing here at all. Uh, right over here it says Selection, Nothing Selected, No Table. The first thing you have to do is add a zombie into the table. Uh, the table doesn't matter what you call it. Um, for this uh, tutorial, I'm just going to call it Test Zombie. Um, like that, Test Zombie. And um, click Add. That's just the name of it. Notice that there's a zero here. If I was to add another table, it, it, it'll put a one by it. It's just keeping your numbers. Yeah, it's organizing for you. So, notice now how it says Selection Test Zombie. That's because I clicked on it. Uh, you want to make sure that your selection is on the thing you're working on. That way you can edit all that for that current section. So for an example, I'm going to just type in example and then I'm going to click add. So if I click on example, of course nothing's changed really. Um, but you can see how it changes. So if, it, if it's a selection on example, then I'm going to be editing the examples tab. I hope you guys understand that and I didn't confuse you. So I'm going to go back to test zombie. Now I want to change the color of it to a green color because zombies are green. That way it just helps me organize. Um, and then I can start placing these things. Keep in mind, not all of them are going to spawn always. So I like to do about double of what I'd usually like and you might get a third of that spawn. So uh, these are just random locations for them to spawn. They'll stand in one of those spots. Now I think what this radius button does is if you have a small radius, or bigger radius, they won't spawn if you're near them in that certain amount of radius, which I'm not sure. Honestly, I haven't done too much reading on that. Okay, so now that I've set the zombies down, I can uh, now uh, uh, go into the basis of this tutorial on what I really made this for on adding in clothes. So right now, they're kind of naked. If I was to go into the game, they're not going to have any clothes on them at all. So to add clothes, make sure, of course, you're selected on the right layer. Because, um, see, yeah, that's why I'm 
now I'm on the right layer. Make sure you're selected on the right layer. That's important, guys. Um, you're going to want to uh, go down here to where it says shirt, pants, hat, and gear. All right, right above it, um, it says loot, damage, and health. Of course, you guys can kind of figure that out on your own. But let's say I want to add a shirt. I don't know, I'm getting notifications. Let's say I want to add a shirt. So make sure you click on the shirt, okay? Click on the shirt and go down here to where it says ID number and type in your, your ID. Now, of course, I know, uh, I think it's 254. Nope, 253 maybe. No. What? 235? There we go, Gilly Top. That's, uh, that's the Gilly shirt. Um, of course, I'm on shirt. So now let's go to uh, pants. Uh, 236 is the Gilly pants. Um, hat. 237 is the Gilly top, or the Gilly hat, I mean. And gear, I can give him 238, which would be the best, but I'm actually going to give him an Alice pack, so 235, um, maybe? Maybe, is that an Alice? No, that's not an Alice pack. Um, okay, fine, I won't do that. <laughs> we'll just go 238, and that should be the Gilly vest. There we go. So now, if I spawn in, these zombies are actually going to have, um, have clothes on. They're going to have the Gilly gear on. I know I keep getting notifications. It's hard to see. Um, but yeah, so let me go ahead and come in. Of course, I want to make these mega just because I can. Um, make sure you click save and then exit. Okay, guys. Um, so I'm in my single player world now. And as you can see, there's the zombies out there. Uh, they're actually really hard to see because they're in Gilly. Um, go figure. So I'm going to go ahead and walk outside. And you guys can see them. Yep, that's how to really give them clothes, guys. Um, you can also mess with the health. As of right now, these zombies are, they look big, they look mean, but they really have the same health as a normal zombie. So I can actually hit it with this axe, and it'll die immediately. Notice if this was a regular mega zombie in like Canada or something like that, they wouldn't do that. So anyway, that's just kind of, oh crap, that's just kind of a little tutorial for you guys on how to put uh, clothes on your zombies. I know a lot of you guys were wondering that. If you enjoyed this tutorial, of course, you can always subscribe, like the video, uh, and if uh, you have any more requests uh, for a video, make sure you leave that in the description because we will make a video on it. Thanks, guys, for watching, and uh, you know, keep on surviving, survivors. Okay, we got a busted. I'm like, oh, here they go. They're coming in through the windows. We busted this one already. Are they upstairs? Are they upstairs? Oh, oh crap! Oh crap! Oh crap! They busted two of the windows down here. I got one. I, I got one. Killed one. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, crap. Oh.